everybody, and welcome to another Gay Let's Play Jade Empire. In our last episode, we just started wandering around the uh, the, em the Imperial City and um, made our way around and met a bunch of people and eventually made our way into this arena place. I think this is the arena place. Yes. Um, and ended up uh, joining the arena, the Colosseum or whatever this place is. And uh, so far we've been doing pretty well. So let us... Uh, we were told that we needed to wait a little bit to um, to move on to the Bronze League, but I just wanted to double check that. Many, many people try to break into the Bronze Division and fail miserably. You should be proud of yourself. Why, thank you. You deserve it. It was an honor to face you. Thank you, sir. Crimson Kana is the champion of this round. You'll have to face her eventually. Be ready when you do. All right. Oh, looks like we can continue on, folks. Um... Um, tell me about my next fight. Your next fight? I'd love to, but I'm still arranging the details of your entry into the Browns Division. Okay, all right. Besides, didn't you have some mysterious lady in black looking to meet you? Hardly an invitation I'd turn down. Oh, that's right. That's right, her. All right, so I guess we cannot, uh... Wait, not the creature pens. I guess we can't quite get into the Browns league yet. So we are going to continue exploring this city. I kind of want to bring um, Mickey with me. Did I already read this? A cannibal cookbook? I don't think I read this yet. Valued customer, while we appreciate your business, the staff of the Heart of the Empire politely requests that you keep your nose out of ours. To assure that you will no longer wish to pry into our recipes, please enjoy this excerpt recently unearthed in the South. Leg of Lamb, L-A-M. This hearty meal was first discovered after Yun Lam, the hunter, stumbled upon our community. For five to ten people, use just one leg. The other can be pickled for later, or roasted slowly and smoked to preserve it. For larger groups, use both legs of an adult male or female. Boil the legs in a large pot for two hours with the following ingredient. Twenty gallons of fresh water, three tablespoons of salt, half a cup of rosemary, three cups of spiced wine, summer wine is best if you can get it, three bags of onion, onions, four whole garlic cloves, and a dash of ginger. When the legs have been about half an hour left, add some skin potatoes and leeks. Can be served on the bone or in steaks. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's all I have to say. People flood in here to watch the arena matches. Oh gosh. You guys actually cook. No. Oh. We're always out of tamarind. Remind me not to eat from this place. That just sounds like the more reasonable thing to do. Um, oh yeah, Lustful Lao and all these people. Alright. Let us continue. I'm gonna bring Mickey with me next time because it sounds like he might be important to bring over here. I will do that when I go into the bronze. The bronze uh, battle fight. Yes. Come on, Sky. Alright, so we've already discovered this general area, and now let's move on to the Black Leopard School. Yes, shall we? Okay, I think the Black Leopard School is this way. We'll see how it differs from Twin Rivers. Black Leopard School. Some sounds are difficult to grasp if you... Some text is difficult to read if you don't get enough time. Do you really think we'll find Second Brother here in the city? Second Brother? Why ask me? I don't even want to be here. Second Brother probably decided he didn't want to listen to Master Radiant anymore, and left to get some peace. Never! Second Brother is devoted to Master Radiant. If anything, I suspect Master Smiling Hawk had something to do with his disappearance. 
Uh huh. What? You dare accuse Master Smilinghawk? Quiet, you worms. You're here to look for second brother, not bicker like school children. Now get moving. Interesting. I have no idea, guys. No idea. A few years ago, you're a oh, fool I didn't if get you to hear what, what Master said. Smiling Hawk teaches. Brute force is not always the best way to win a battle. Oh, and Master Radiance ways are better? I don't think so. Brute force is the only way to get what you want, and I can prove it. How? I'll show you. Hey, you! What do you think you're doing here? Get out of here, or we'll throw you out! But, 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 who, me? What? Um... I'm just visiting. Please let me pass, maybe? Ha! <laughs> you sound like my weakling friend over here. Oh, please let me pass? No. Now, how about you just turn yourself around before you get hurt? Um... Really now? Um... How about you let me pass? You don't hear so well, do you? Maybe we'll just have to show you what we mean. Oh, just try it. You just try it. Come on. Let's teach our visitor some respect. <sighs> stone, stone no more. Come on, Sky. Don't just stand there, Sky. I mean, don't just stand there looking sexy. Can you, can you, Sky, do something? You're not on support. Oh, Sky, you confuse me. There you go. Bring up those dual blades. That's right. Whip it out. Whip it out. All right. Novice fan. Throw in the rocks. Throw in the rocks. Ooh, we've got a Wolverine wannabe over here. Nice. Hey, leave our novices alone. If you want to fight, you can fight me. Peace, third brother. That is no way to treat a guest. Third brother. Guest? This guest just attacked our novices. And you're just going to look the other way? You are just like Master Radiant. Weak and... Enough. Leave us, third brother, before you disgrace the school and yourself. And take these novices with you. Yes, brother, I apologize for my outburst. Come on, you louts. You'll be scrubbing the dining room floors for your part in this little altercation. I don't like him. I'm very sorry about that. We are not accustomed to having visitors. My name is First Brother Kai. Welcome to the Black Leopard School. Well, thank you. That's more like it. Greetings. I apologize if I've caused any problems. No, nothing more than usual. Normally, this kind of thing would never happen. Fortunately, you seemed more than capable of handling the situation. In all my years, I've never seen anyone but a master with skills like yours. Well, yes. I would not normally ask, but would you be interested in joining our school? It would be an honor to have someone of your skill. Wow. This is so sudden. Like, like, shouldn't you offer me a drink first? I mean, wow, what a, what a proposition. I don't know. This is all going so fast. Um, uh, sure, why not? I mean, my old school is kind of, you know, my old school is kind of a big, giant, ashy grave now. And I think it'd be really cool to be a part of the school in the, uh, in the Imperial City. Yeah, I would like that. Excellent. I must speak with the masters on your behalf. They are the final judge of such matters. Wait here. Okay. Can I learn new styles? That would be cool if I learn new stuff. New techniques, maybe? Good news. Master Radiant agreed to let you join. Wow. A rare honor indeed. In fact, he would like to meet with you once you have proven yourself. Wow, okay. That's respect. First, however, Master Radiant wants to ensure that your fight against the novices was not just luck. You must now defeat each of the brothers here at the school. Fair enough. There's three of them at least, I think. But but I just defeated four of your students. At once. An impressive feat, but it was only one fight. As skilled as you are, you must understand that a great fighter must be consistent to remain great. But I'm, but I'm the champion in the arena. You have proven you can defeat our novices. Now you must prove yourself against the brothers. 
The brothers have trained long and are second only in skill to the masters. Okay, maybe not the champion just yet, but it will be. Sixth brother is the least skilled, so Six. you will start with him. Work your way to third brother. If you succeed against him, you will then challenge me. Th wait, go from the third to the first? Wait, what about the second brother? Second brother is not here. For now, you must face only third brother and myself, after you've defeated the other brothers. Okay. I must be honest with you. I believe Master Radiant has a plan in allowing you to join us. As you may have heard, there are two masters at this school. Oh, that's right. I remember that now. Master Radiant and I have tried for some time to temper Master Smiling Hawk's ways. He is cunning and ruthless, and has little regard for students. That's kind of... Normally I wouldn't speak openly about such things, but you are new, and your skill will draw his attention. Be careful. Master Smiling Hawk is a dangerous man. I love that. The smiling one is the dangerous one. I, I was kind of hoping, though, that choosing between the two masters was not as simple as choosing between the Paragon and the Renegade, or, dare I say, the Open Palm versus the Closed Fist master. I was hoping it would be a little bit grayer, but it doesn't sound like it's that gray. It does sound like one side or the other, but, eh. We will see. Why does Master Radiant tolerate him? It is complicated. If you prove yourself, I'm sure that Master Radiant will be more than happy to explain it to you. Okay, alright. For now, be careful and focus on defeating the brothers. Start with Sixth Brother and ask him to fight with you. I'm sure he'll be eager. Alright, alright. We'll do it. Once you've defeated all the brothers, come and see me. Good luck. Alright. That's first brother Kai. Sky, you have my back, right? Um, let's take out this scroll stand. Black Leopard Style. Zo Hao grew up Oh, Zo Hao grew up in a small fishing village in the south. His uncle was a great warrior, but he died when Zo Hao was still quite young. The young man longed to learn the ways of his uncle, but his parents did not want him to get involved in such a dangerous life. Despite their caution, Zhao Hao used his uncle's incomplete journals and notes to teach himself how to fight, eventually creating his own techniques to fill in the blanks. His new style was eventually called Black Leopard Style, and it was one of the most formidable styles of his time. Very nice. This is Sixth Brother Gao Shan. Okay. Nothing here. Alright. Let's go talk to Sixth Brother Gao Shan. So you're the one who was challenging our novices earlier. That might impress Master Radiant, but it won't get you noticed by Master Smiling Hawk. I don't want to impress Master Smiling I'm Hawk. I'm Sixth Brother Gao Shan. If you think you can defeat a disciple of Master Smiling Hawk, challenge me. I assure you, I'm much tougher than the novices. I'm gonna hope so. Where is the second brother anyway? How should I know? He's probably licking Master Radiant's sandals. He was always such a devoted follower of that man. Oh, really? Do I sense... Never mind, I'm not gonna say anything. Tell me about the Black Leopard School. Huh, so you'd rather talk than fight. It's students like you that are giving the Black Leopard School a bad name. What are you... Hey! Master Radiant teaches patience and peace. What's the point? Why study for years to be a great fighter if you're not allowed to use your skills? There. Master Smiling Hawk believes in using our power to take what we want. He's the true master of Black Leopard School. Yeah, you keep telling I've me. I've already told you more than I should. Now, do you want to fight or not? You keep telling me that as I wipe your face off the concrete. Sure, let's fight. All right, follow me. This is, you bother me anyway. This is going to be good. I hope. Stone more. Hey, I dodged. Oh, slow, eh? Ha <laughs> ha. Yes. Trees. Oh. Are you healing yourself? Gotcha. Not bad. That was lucky. I'll be ready for you next time. Lucky nothing. Whatever. Go back and whine, you whiner person, you. All right, six down. One down, four to go, I think? Yes, because there's no second brother currently. Um, 
Oh. Hello. Master Smiling Hawk's room. Master Smiling Hawk's room. This sturdy door cannot be opened at this time. Fair enough. Novice Shen. It was foolish of us to challenge you earlier. I apologize for my impudence. Well, thank you. You certainly taught us a thing or two about fighting. I'm just glad you didn't hurt us too badly. Yeah, you should be. Novice Feng. You may have defeated us, but Third Brother will teach you what real fighting is like. We may be novices, but we're still skilled. Your lucky Third Brother stopped that fight when he did. <sighs> Keep telling yourself that. Dream on, bub. You filthy little swine! Look what you've done! Do you think I have nothing better to do than to clean up after you pigs all day long? Uh, hi? Yes, mistress. I, I mean, no, mistress. Get out! Get out of here before I break your skull open, you little rat! Okay, that is one person at the school I don't want to fight. Definitely don't want to fight. She scares me. This isn't a public restaurant. We only serve the students here. You'll have to go back to the city if you're hungry. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Whatever you say, ma'am. Um, actually, I am a student. Well, good for you. Do you want me to bake a special dessert in your honor? No, ma'am. No. Can I ask you some questions? Questions about what? Go ask your teacher if you have questions. Well, um, tell me about the Black Leopard School. You're the student. You tell me. What is there to tell? The boys come and learn to fight, and they think that's all there is to the world. Learning and fighting. They are very good at both, but put any one of them in a room with a lady and they just wither away. I don't think I have a problem with that. What's the point in teaching a man to learn and fight if he can't even relate to the people he's supposed to protect? What do you know about the masters? Masters? Ha! I'm the only master of this school. Oh, you're Those a master. Those other two hide in their rooms all day long doing who knows what. Wait, are you smiling what's-her-face? How can you be master of anything when you never participate? It's unnatural. Of course, it wasn't always that way, or at least that's what I've heard. There was only one master once. Makes sense to me. Too many cooks in the kitchen, as I always say. Uh, tell me more about yourself. Me? Is this some ploy to get an extra serving of fish in your soup tonight? It won't work, you know. But since you asked. I did. I am the headmistress here at the school. I organize everything that these witless fighters forget to do. Paperwork, laundry, cooking, you name it. She's Professor McGonagall. It's a thankless job. Never so much as a smile or a wave as I labor over my work. If it wasn't for me, this place would fall apart. Uh, I must be going, Mrs. McGonagall. Bye. Good. I have work to do. Yeah, Whispering Willow. Whispering Willow. Nice. Third brother, Renshan. You haven't accomplished nearly enough to warrant my attention. Maybe you'll get good enough one day. Alright. Third brother. Where is fifth brother? Where is the fifth brother? Is he upstairs? Is he... Um... Vaz. Oh, whoops. Sorry. Oop, there wasn't even any silver in there. That's... Whoops! There we go. The jar had... Um... Fourth Brother's room. Fourth Brother Yu. Hello, my name is Fourth Brother Yu, and you must be the new prodigy. First Brother told us to watch out for you. He said that you're very talented. He did, did he? Of course, until you've defeated Fifth Brother, I'll just have to take his word for it. Is there something else I can do for you in the meantime? Maybe. What do you think happened to the second brother? I've been trying to find that out myself. I even sent a few of the students into the city to see if they could discover the truth. Hmm. Master Smiling Hawk was the last to speak with second brother, though I still don't know what they discussed. It's no secret that they disliked each other. Hmm. Third brother told me that Master Smiling Hawk sent second brother into the city on an errand, but nobody saw him leave the school. I fear second brother has run into trouble, and I suspect Master Smiling Hawk is behind it all. Interesting. 
Tell me about the Black Leopard School. Well, the school is the best of its kind in all the Empire. I consider myself very fortunate to be a student here. That's not to say that we don't have our problems. Having two masters is a bit unusual, and it seems to slow the progress of the school. That would make sense. Master Radiant is a great leader, but he never comes out of his room anymore. Master Smiling Hawk, on the other hand, well, I shouldn't say anything about that. Huh. All right, I need to go. Goodbye. As you wish. Once you've defeated Fifth Brother, come and see me for a match. Certainly. It won't be long. It will not be long. Isn't that right, Sky? Master Radiance Room. Yep, cannot be opened at this time. Is this... Is this the... Fifth Brother Shang Jin? You must be the new student. I'm Fifth Brother Shang Jin. There's been quite a stir regarding your entry into the school. Most unorthodox. Unorthodox? That's me. It would seem Master Radiant is up to his tricks again. Regardless, you've defeated Sixth Brother so we can spar. Would you care to try your skills against mine? Absolutely. But first, what do you think happened to Second Brother? I have no idea, though he was very vocal in condemning Master Smiling Hawk. Perhaps he grew tired of all the bickering here and decided to leave. I know if I was a follower of Master Radiant, I would likely get very bored, very quickly. Maybe he just decided to go to a new school, somewhere more peaceful. Mmm, I doubt that. Yes, Angelus is just as nosy as ever. Tell me about the Black Leopard School. The Black Leopard School is the most respected school in all the Empire, but we are losing that respect. The school has strong leadership, but we currently suffer from having too many leaders. Two masters is one too many. Hmm. I don't mind Master Radiant, but he is too detached and too passive. Master Smiling Hawk could regain our respect if Master Radiant would let him. Interesting perspective. I want to challenge you to a fight. Good. Follow me. Let's do this, brother. From another mother. Ooh, staff. Stop it, boy. You can't. If you can reach me. Oh. Earth. Oh, whoops. Alright, you know what? Oh, come on. I just need to throw one more rock at you. There we go. Thank you for the opportunity to learn from you. Goodbye. How polite you are, number five. Number five. Alright, let us go to number four. Fourth brother, you. That's Good you. Good to see you again. What can I do for you? You mean, no, you're you. Good to see you, you, again. I'd like to challenge you to a fight. Let's you, go then. to a fight. Yes, you. Let's go, you, to a fight. Uh, Marshall. He's going empty-handed. You're going down. Yep, done. This is getting... Very impressive. I can see the masters were right to let you train with us. Well, thank you for the fight. It's I don't. Okir Okun one pifus. So you defeated Fort Brother, brother you. Sanku. Finally, you'll get your chance to see what a real fighter can do soon enough. Um, how about right now? I would like that more than you can guess. But I have. Other orders. As he twirls his mustache, his non existent invisible mustache. Now what are Master Smiling Hawk wants to see you. He sent me to escort you. Follow me. Wait, but I. Now? Alright. And what if I don't want to meet him? No, I'll say, good, I've been looking forward to meeting him. Not. What if I don't want to meet him? You are a student and I am third brother. You will do as I say. Oh, really? Master Smiling Hawk is even less patient than I do. Let's go. All right, fine. Thank you, third brother. That is all. You are dismissed. Oh gosh, look at him. Yes, Master Smiling Hawk. That definitely, he definitely fits the bill of, you know, what I thought Master Smiling Hawk. Would so, be. you are the new student I have heard so much about. Rarely does someone so young display the ability that you have shown. 
I noticed that you did not come from one of our usual schools. Do you mind if I ask you who your real master is? Um... Why do you want to know? You have talent. And with second brother's death, we have need of a new brother. Um... What happened to second brother? I asked him to do something for me. He refused. So what was it? Let me be blunt. Master Radiant is holding this school back. He's holding me back. Radiant is weak. He follows the way of harmony. His methods are slow and pitiful. Mm -hmm. This school belongs to me. I want Master Radiant removed, and you're the one to do it. You have certain abilities that will enable you to defeat my rival. Oh, really? Why not get Third Brother to do it for you? Ha! <laughs> I cannot deal with Radiant. And Third Brother is nowhere near as powerful as I am. No, you have something that neither of us have. I can sense it. Great hair? You are the only one here capable of defeating Master Radiant. And rest assured, I will reward you extremely well for ridding me of him. Mm, I'm sure you will. To begin with, you'll have to deal with First Brother Kai. Destroy him, and you'll only be left with Radiant. But together, they would be too powerful. I would never hurt First Brother Kai or Master Radiant. You're... you're wasting your breath. So, First Brother is already winning you over, I see. He is pathetic. And you're not doing... And so is his precious master. Well, you're not doing a good job of winning me over, sir. Do as I ask, and I will teach you things that no one else can. I also have a few rare items that should appeal to you. Uh, no, that's okay. Not interested. Simply kill First Brother and Master Radiant. The task is straightforward. Uh, why is it that people think that repeating themselves is going to convince me more? It only annoys me more. Uh, I already decided what I was going to do and what I'm not going to do. Um, you won't get any help from me. You are a fool! You could have had everything. Instead, you will not survive your match with Third Brother. I will see to it. Now get out! Yeah, you're not going to win any popularity contests anytime soon, bub. Not with me. Nope, nope. Not with me.